Hey guys, my name is Sheba Calvin. I'm currently a junior here at MSU Texas in the respiratory care program. Follow me for a day in the life as a respiratory care student. Let's go. Oh, good morning, y'all. This is the hardest part of my day, is getting out of bed. But it's currently 6.17. Okay, we'll start getting Let's go make some food. So here is the lobby for Centennial Hall. It was completed in 2019. We have four health science majors that are usually in here. We have radiology, dental hygiene, respiratory, and nursing. One of my favorite things about this building is the glass windows because we can see all the students working in their labs. All right, let's go to the respiratory care lab. All right, here we're gonna have some of the nursing sim rooms. We're actually going to pass radiology, and it's really cool because you get to see all of their cool equipment they have. Okay, and we reached our respiratory care lab. Now I'm in pathophysiology with Mary Sue Owen, and in this class we learn about the different studies and disease processes. And something that I really enjoy about this class is getting to see it in clinicals, getting to see how the disease takes course over the patient and then getting to see how we treat the patient right after. It's really cool to actually get to see that from classroom to in person in reality. All right, so right now um, we're going to go ahead and start um, adult critical care, which is right after patho. Um, it starts at 930, but sometimes they change up the times a little bit. So we have this class with Erica Judy, and traditionally it is one of the hardest classes in our program. However, I think it's a lot of fun because we get to apply a lot of our knowledge that we have learned over the past semesters and this semester. There's a lot of formulas and equations and concepts, so it's um, really fun getting to challenge myself and get to learn new things. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and go to the gym. So right now I'm gonna be doing the Stairmasters. I'm gonna do it for about 10 minutes, maybe we'll see. I'm a little sore from yesterday, so we'll see. Um, so I'm also gonna be hitting legs today. So yeah, I like to do strength training and we'll see if I can do my three miles. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> director of our program, Dr. Anderson, she really emphasizes a good balance of life and I feel like working out also clears my brain fog and helps me study better. So I really truly believe that like being physical every day and working out every day um, just really gives you a better quality of life as well. Hello. <clears throat> so um, I'm back in my apartment. It's really cold outside so I threw on another um, sweater. Um, I literally don't know what to eat and I don't want to eat the pasta that I've been eating for the past like three days because I made so much and I don't want it anymore so I might go and get food but I have so much food in my fridge so I don't know what I want to get or what to do so I should get food right? No, I need to eat the food I have. Okay, y'all. I decided to be the good adult I am and eat the food that I have in my fridge so I'm eating some rice and this is called dal. Basically, it's like lentils cooked up. Um, yeah, I don't want to eat it, but I'm going to. <laughs> I just want to say, it has no business being this cold outside today. I'm literally freezing. But I am now going to go to the library and start studying, and then my study group is going to come with me. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the library. I'm just walking up the stairs right now and I'm gonna meet my study group so I can we can start studying for our tests. Two hours. We've been doing work for two hours. We've just been doing like busy work. 
um, and my study group. And we said we'd meet at six. So let's see how long it takes for them to come. DLC. Okay, so it's currently like 11 o'clock and um, we're all like really exhausted and packing up, but we feel pretty much prepared for our test tomorrow. So yeah. Hey guys, okay, so I'm currently back in my apartment. <clears throat> um, I just got back from the library. It's about 11 o'clock. It is a little early for us, but we have like an insane exam to study for tomorrow because it's um, for the hardest class. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop in the shower and just kind of prep my stuff for tomorrow. Okay, so I just finished showering and then I also just finished my skincare routine um, And so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed because it is 11 52 And I definitely have an 8 a.m. in the morning and my test in the morning. Um, I will repeat everything I did today tomorrow <laughs> So thanks for coming along with me in my day in the life as a respiratory care student Good night